Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I'm going to do something I generally don't do on this station, and that is specifically talk about hardware. Now, uh, new hardware is always really exciting, it's just not really in the scope of what I try to do here, specifically new graphics cards. This channel is all about game development and things game development related. In fact, just a few months back, uh, there was an announcement at GDC about real-time ray tracing. Now, that is very much a game development related topic and something I discussed and, of course, a link I will toss down below. So what does that have to do with today? Well, today was the uh, developer, uh, well, not really a developer conference. It was just basically a keynote speech from uh, NVIDIA about the technology they've been working on for the last 10 years. And this is basically related to the DXR anyway. So uh, back at GDC in March, Microsoft announced that in DX12, uh, DXR or DirectX ray tracing would be a thing. This is basically real-time ray tracing. So um, instead of simulating scenes like we do now, basically you would just do ray tracing, which is to, to cast a light beam out into the scene that will physically be accurate to what your scene contains. This is basically how um, CG, so um, non-real-time games, work with ray tracing. So this is basically bringing the technology used to make videos like Toy Story um, and offline CG films into the world of game development. And this is basically, you can't just do this in software. You need a new round of hardware. And I honestly didn't expect to see that hardware anytime soon. I thought we'd see like we've seen with new graphics features in the past where the functionality comes into silicon, but it just wasn't fast enough to actually do anything. Well, NVIDIA kind of have that thought out, and they just shocked me with this announcement that came today. Basically, they just released uh, or announced the release of their next round of GPUs. Now, their existing GPUs are based around the Pascal architecture, and this new round is based around the Turing architecture, and this is all about real-time ray tracing. So right now, the best GPU you can buy is a 1080 Ti, and in the next version, it is predictably enough a 20. 80 Ti. But the thing here is for real-time ray tracing, you're seeing performances of 10 times the best existing GPU today. Um, and across the board, we're also seeing like double the performance, triple the performance of today's GPU. So when exactly are these new round of chips going to be coming? Uh, September the 20th, basically. They're taking pre-orders right now. Uh, the weird thing is in the developer keynote, uh, they actually had different pricing. They said it was starting at $4.99, not $5.99. So it'd be interesting to see if that pricing stays that pricing or if there's something up there. Now, the interesting thing with this is, and as I mentioned earlier on, I didn't think this technology was going to be here anytime soon. Um, but they actually had been working over the last year with a couple of developers to actually showcase this. So at the same time, this is going to be launching, like I said, September the 20th, uh, or around. Um, we're also going to see a beta on September the 6th of Battlefield 5. And Battlefield 5 was actually one of the things they were demonstrating as part of this release. And you really have to see it to believe it. The uh, real-time rendering effects were just staggering. And it gave them some power and flexibility they don't have with the, condition, with the traditional pipeline. Uh, so for example, a lot of times you emulate really good reflections by using something like cube maps. And they demonstrate this in the video. Well, in this case, what they've done with real-time ray tracing, if you blow up the environment, the results of that, the, the fires being created, the changes to geometry, will all be updated and shown in real time in the reflections. So you get just so much nicer uh, shadows and reflections in your end work. Uh, so if you come over here to the web page, which I'll obviously link down below, you'll see each one of these is actually a video to the trailer they showed in their actual demonstration. And this one is the by far and away the most impressive. This is the new Battlefield 5. Um, and you know what? I'm not a huge fan of these games, but I have to say straight out, the new Battlefields always show the best and greatest of technology. And here you can see they're really focusing on real-time reflections and lighting as shown in the scenes. And I really, you have to see it in action to really appreciate uh, what it is capable of. Now, this little trailer on its own doesn't really do it enough justice. And it's running like a pig for some reason. Uh, so anyways, I'll move on from that. I'll link that video trailer down below so you can definitely check that out. Uh, but straight up, the technology, the lighting, the reflections, the shadows that you can generate using this RTX technology is just night and day based off what we can do today. And it, it's coming literally at the same time that the uh, chips are going to be dropping. There are going to be a few games with um, RTX support right out of the box. And uh, when you do see what it is capable of, you will be rather impressed with this technology. So that's why I'm making a bit of an exception today to talk a little bit about graphics chips and specifically this new Turing uh, architecture from 
NVIDIA because they may have a game changer on their hands here. Now, again, some of this could just be marketing and it may just be no more impressive than uh, what we see today, but I highly doubt it. From what I saw today, I am uh, very excited to see what we see in September. Unfortunately, it may also be somewhat obsoleting a lot of current generation graphics cards, and I don't think that's going to make uh, too many people happy. And I also w w wonder, uh, as of this point in time, between now and September 20th, when these start to ship, uh, is NVIDIA going to sell a single uh, Pascal-based GPU? Uh, interesting to find out. Also interesting to see if those GPUs all become a lot more affordable um, or what's going to happen if this is a new GPU that's great for Bitcoin farming. Are we just going to see them all be bought up by Bitcoiners? But the nice part is they are throwing a two per customer limit on pre-orders. So hopefully it isn't just all picked up by Bitcoin farmers and actual gamers can get our hands on this technology. So uh, I'm actually pretty shocked. Real-time ray tracing is a lot closer at hand than I ever thought it was going to be. All right, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.